I went AFK at this ominous bottle farm for 10 minutes and came back to 17 ominous bottles, which is over 100 ominous bottles per hour at this farm. If this interests you, make sure you stick around till the end. Here's how to build it for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. There's an important mechanic in Minecraft that I need you guys to understand with pillager outposts and how pillagers spawn inside before we can actually get started with the farm. Now, if you didn't know, there's only one spot that the pillagers can spawn on the top layer of the outpost. However, if your outpost is facing a specific direction, you can have two or sometimes even four of those spots, both with increasing efficiency. That's not mandatory to have, you don't need four or two, one is still pretty efficient. I should also mention that it's not guaranteed to get two or four spawn spots, it's just a chance, it all depends on how the outpost lines up with the chunks around it. Now figuring out how many spawn spots your outpost has is pretty easy, and I'm going to give you guys three different ways on how to tell right now. Firstly, if your outpost is facing south you have one spot, east or west you have two, and north you might have four. Now hold on, I'm going to tell you guys three different ways on how to tell which direction your outpost is facing. You can use a pumpkin, a sunflower, or a locator map. Now sunflowers always face east. If you look out the door of the outpost and the sunflower faces to the left, you're south with one spot. If it faces towards or away from you, you're east or west and you have two spots. And if the sunflower faces to the right, you are north with possibly four spots. The pumpkin trick is pretty similar. If you place down the pumpkin and the stem is facing away from the chest, that's south and one spawn spot. If it's facing to the left or the right of the chest, that is east or west with two spots. And then if it's facing towards the chest, that is north with possibly four spots. The third option is with a locator map, which is the easiest. All you have to do is go to the front of the outpost, look outside, and whichever direction you're looking on the map is the direction the outpost is facing. For this tutorial, my outpost is going to have two spawn spots, although if you have one or four, it is the exact same process, just with less or more trident killers. And if you haven't noticed, I've been saying possibly four spots, because when it faces north, it's not guaranteed it has four, it might have two, it just depends on how the chunk borders line up. Now finally, with all that out of the way, we can get into the actual tutorial of the video. So, the first thing you want to do is remove all of this stuff on the top. We don't need any of this up here, so go ahead and get rid of all of this. Alright, there you go. I got the whole top area removed. Now what you want to do is come to this chest here and look at it in this direction. And then you want to go over one block, back two, and then break this block. This is a guaranteed spawn spot. This spot right here is where pillagers are always going to spawn, no matter how many spots your thing has. So this is one right here. Now here are where the other four spots might be. So if you have two spots or four spawn spots, they might spawn in one of the one of these other locations. So we're going to have to trap them here and then figure out where they spawn. So how you find these, you want to go up to this gap in the fence here, go to the right one and then place down a block right there. And then you want to do that for all four of these sides. So I'm going to go to right in front of that right side fence and I'm going to place down a block. Now what we want to do is actually trap these pillagers inside of some glass panes just so we can see which spots they actually spawn at. So the first thing you want to do is place down a pumpkin right there. Now my stem is facing in this direction so that means the pillagers are going to be spawning on this corner right here. So go ahead take some glass panes make a square like that and now we know that a pillager is going to spawn inside of there. Now you want to do that for all these four outskirt spots. So place this down, the little stem is facing in this direction, so I'm going to make a box there and then leave that open. And now do this for all four of the other spots. Alright, there we go. So now I have all four of these spots done here, all five of these spots, sorry. Now what we want to do is actually make our AFK platform. Now the AFK platform, make sure when you're doing this you are on a simulation distance of four chunks. I found the best spot for me to AFK is 30 to 40 blocks into the air. So when you're doing this, don't go lower, otherwise the pillagers on the lower levels might spawn in more. Slow down the rates up here. So when you're doing this, go about 30 or 40 blocks into the air. You can already see just me building up to that high. I do already have some of these pillagers and the pillager captain stuck inside of the square. Now since this was a two-sided one, one of these other ones should be filling up. So I'm going to go up to this block here or to my uh, AFK platform. That's 30 to 40 blocks into the air. And eventually I will see one of these other spots. This one right here has filled in with my pillagers. Now before I check that this one was facing, I believe it was east. So that's how I know that only two spawn spots are going to be here. So mark down these two spots and then you can get rid of all these other squares. If you can't tell, this is not a small amount of pillagers inside of these here either. There's going to be one, two, three, four in this one. 
and then five six over here so there was six pillagers that spawned there in this small amount of time and we're gonna kill all of those pillagers and steal their ominous potions so for this next part you can actually go ahead and not only break this chest here but also break all of these glass panes because we're not gonna need those anymore what you're going to want to remember though is which corner the glass panes were over and then turn that corner into four blocks like that so these glass panes were over this corner i'm going to break those three blocks and fill them in with a solid block just different to the surroundings so i know which area to surround with the trident killer which is what we're going to build right now the first thing you want to do is take a piston place one right there turn and place one turn and place one turn and place one just like that you don't want to take an observer and place it like that so the arrow is facing into the piston and then do that again for all four of these sides. Oh, and you can also go ahead and block this area up. There we go. And then you want to do that for the fourth side. There we go. Now I'm going to take my redstone torch and place it on the side of the piston. And when you do this, you should see one piston extend out. And then two pistons, three pistons, and then finally a fourth piston. And now it should be going in a circle like this. Now what you can do is put a lever on one of these pistons. And you're going to turn this trident killer off now. Now for however many spawn spots you have, you wanna do that for the other spots. So for me, I'm gonna do another Trident Killer right around this spot here. Now that I've got both my Trident Killer set up, I'm actually gonna go ahead and set up some redstone touching both of these uh, pistons here, and then put a lever in between so I can turn them both on and off with the same lever. There you go, I like how that looks. Once you've got all of your Trident Killer set up, the next thing you wanna do is drop down to one of the lower levels. We're gonna place one torch in the middle, and then four torches on all the sides. This is just to make sure that no pillagers spawn in these middle layers and slow down the rates up there as well. So I'm gonna do this for this layer as well and then place the torches in the middle and the corners. And then I will drop down one more time and you wanna place torches on all four of the walls again, just like that. Now head back up to the top of your farm and then drop one layer below these here and we're gonna get started with the farm. The first thing you wanna do is be able to see these four blocks. So I'm gonna break my way over here as well so I can see those four blocks freely. Now, if you only have one spawn spot, here's what you're gonna to wanna to do. Place down two chests on the ground. I'm gonna to have to move this torch. Two chests on the ground with one hopper on top and then take a rail and a hopper minecart right there. And that's gonna pick up all the items. Now, if you're wondering, it is only covering one of the blocks. However, this trident killer will push the items in a circle. So eventually it will be picked up by this hopper minecart down below. Now the thing is, if you have two of these, we are gonna hook them up to one main chest system. I'm gonna show you guys that right now. If you have two or more of the spawn spots, what you wanna do is place down two chests and then I recommend doing two hoppers on top of those. You then wanna take a row of blocks and extend it one block past your two by two square, just like that, and then build one block up and break that one there. You then wanna take a powered rail and put it underneath of there, a redstone torch right there, or if you don't wanna do it like this, you can also just have like a redstone block on the side, a redstone torch on the side, but this is just the most compact. Then take your regular rails and bring them all the way and then connect it to this side as well. So I'm gonna bring this one block past, go up, break that with a redstone torch, place my powered rail and then normal rails going all the way back to this. Now you wanna take a hopper minecart and it's gonna continuously go back and forth, pick up the items from this one, drop them off, items from that one, drop it off, and so on between all of your spawn spots. Once you're done with the system down here, come on back up to your trident killers and throw one trident onto every one of the trident killers, and then you can go ahead and turn those on. Now what you wanna do is take eight blocks and place them in a ring on top like this, just to make sure that no pillagers or pillager captains are able to escape. There you go. Now you wanna make a way for yourself to get up and down from your AFK platform. You can see I picked scaffolding here, but you can use ladders, bubble elevator, uh, ender pearls, elytra, whatever you want. It doesn't matter what you use. Now all you have to do is stand up here and turn your game on to easy, normal, or hard mode for the best drops. And then as you're gonna see, pillager captains will start to spawn in there, drop their ominous potions, and they'll be put in the chest below. So as you can see, that pillager captain just spawned inside of there, and then he did die. And if I come down here, you'll see that this minecart has picked it up and put the ominous bottle inside of our chest. Okay, guys, this farm is actually crazy. I've had it on for like maybe three minutes, and I've gotten five ominous bottles. Oh my god, this farm is crazy, guys. Make sure to check it out. Now real quick, big shout out to the guys over on my Discord. A lot of them over there helped me figure out how the spawning mechanics work for Pillager Outposts, the directions, everything. It's really confusing. They helped me over there so I could help you guys here. So definitely check out the Discord if you haven't already. As always, you could download this world. It's the first link in the description. And with that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Blazed MC out.